gang, welcome back. Today we're going to do something fun together. Y'all are going to help me come up with a solo to this overdub I got to do. Now, I've listened to it a few times. It's a pretty hard rocking song, um, so sounds to be pretty fun. That's that's right up my alley. Let's give it a listen together. <laughs> Cool. So you can kind of hear we got a guitar solo up front, and then I get a uh, I get a, a pass through. Uh, so first things first, we got to figure out the chord progression. Let's listen to that. There we go. That's so in the key of E. Now we got a seven. Got a four. Cool, so we just got a one, seven, four, one. Okay, so the first thing that kind of comes to mind for me is it's it's just gonna have to have some balls, some you know, some simple right, ain't just really gonna cut it, those typical country licks. Um, so I'm going to treat it more as like like I'm playing a slide guitar with some pedals than like I'm playing country pedal steel. Um, so let's just mess around with it one time. track it's uh let's make another pass mm, a little better let's um let's add let's add a nice slide in to the beginning see how that goes you kind of get the idea um i'm just going to keep adding some stuff into it and let's see what else we can come up with all right so after those first few passes I'm liking the slide at the beginning. Um, I want to make the next part on the seven a little fancier, so let's go. I like that half pedal. Let's do a nice little run up. Get a little slur in there. Another good half pedal. Then we got the four. I feel like I want to end up higher up on the neck because it's going to be a little boring if I just... All right, uh, so let's find a way to get higher up the neck. walk up. I just don't know how hard rocking that's going to be. Let's try that out. So not 
not bad, not bad. I like it. Let's see if we can come up with something a little bit more rocking. Give it one more pass. So I think I got it figured out. So I took, I kept the first part, that little B and C walk up we did, I've kind of tweaked it. To, so instead of run like running chromatically, I want it to go a little bit quicker. So we're just gonna go pretty much through, uh, through chord inversions, so. I think that'll, it's a little bit quicker. It's a little more rocking in context. Um, so let's, let's try that out. Let's see how that sounds. that's kind of a winner um, the only thing that might feel off is just on this run maybe we want to start instead of starting on six maybe we'll start on four let's try that um, and then let's also try instead of such a long slide let's try a shorter one see if I like that and I'm sorry my cat's having a, a full-on battle with a cardboard box out there but <laughs> All right, let's try again. play through that a few more times see if I like it um, and I'll be right back okay so I think I, I do like it starting with the fourth string instead of with the sixth string um, I'm gonna mess around with some stuff at the very end let's see uh, see if we can find something just a little bit taste Okay, guys. Uh, let me get. Uh, let me change my strings. Let me set up the recording equipment, and let's uh, let's do this thing. Okay, I just took the first rough pass at it. Let's give it a listen and see what we want to change. Okay, so I think the first thing I want to change is I don't like the slide. I thought I did, but I don't really like the slide from all the way down at the zero fret. We're gonna we're gonna switch it to a slide from this fifth fret. Um, but aside from that, I kind of like it. Just need to tune up and uh, clean it up a little bit, and I think we got a winner. Okay, gang. So we fixed the intro. I also turned the the, the gain up on the distortion pedal to fill it out and I'm leaving uh, some more notes ringing. I'm not blocking so it's a little bit fuller sound. Let's take a listen. Cool and you'll also notice that I, I uh, removed some notes from the very end so not so many of the unison notes I did instead of doing like five I did like three and let the last one ring out I think it's a little bit tastier so anyway um, I just put fresh strings on so this is all just rough draft we always put if you're going to record put some new strings on 
Uh, so I'm going to tune up, intonate the guitar, and then uh, we'll do this for real. <laughs> Okay, we're all done. So we got a mic track, a DI track, and then we've got a mic track and a DI track with the overdrive pedal on. Um, I did one of those just because I play different when I can actually hear the overdrive while I'm playing. Um, so that gives them an option. Uh, you know, you do more slides and stuff. You play it, treat the guitar more like a slide guitar. Um, so he, can, he has it if he wants, or he can just use these two tracks, right? And then uh, put some distortion, reverb, whatever in post. Cool, so let's take a listen to it with, uh, without the distortion. Sweet, sounds good to me. Let's listen to it with the distortion. Sweet. All right, y'all. We're all done. We'll send it over to him, and uh, hopefully he likes it. Uh, thanks for helping me write that part. I'll see y'all later.